Hey what's up guys, I'm Matt here. So are you that one guy in the group who is clicking pictures from his mobile wherever he goes? I might have something for you today. In this video I have something which will take your mobile photography to next level. Today we have 5 lens for mobile phones which will take your mobile photography to next level. It is sent by PhotoCatch live equipment store on AliExpress. So thank you so much for this. In this video we're gonna be checking out all of them, how it improves your camera quality and now it helps you in clicking better pictures from your smartphone. So before we start make sure to hit the subscribe button and if this video turns out to help you then make sure to hit the thumbs up button. So let's get right into it and check out all of them on my iPhone 13 Pro. First of all let's get all of them out of it. Here is the lens clip, then close up filter, then ND2 to 400, then star 8x, then we have the MCCPL. And at the end we have the sort focus filter. Now let's attach the lens on the filter clip. So you can also attach multiple lenses on one another. They are designed this way. So here it is fit now. So make sure you cover all of the cameras so that there is no black shadow when clicking pictures. And this is how it looks. You can also use it for front camera. You will have to attach it like this. So this was a little tutorial on how to attach the lens on the filter clip. So if we check out the quality, it is quite good and I don't think that it will harm the smartphone in any way. So now let's go ahead and test out all of this lens. I performed almost all of the tests in my lawn. First of all I tested out the close-up lens. It is one of my favorite. Taking close-up pictures of small objects is normally not possible with the standard lens. I have the iPhone 13 Pro which has the macro mode but most of the smartphones still don't have it. So this close-up lens will help you to overcome that problem. Just skew this macro close-up attachment lens to your standard lens and now you can take unbelievable pictures with your lens. Here are some of the examples. I'm loving them. Are you too? Make sure to let me know in the comment section below. So after that I tested out the CPL lens. It removes the unwanted reflections from the surfaces such as water, glass or any shiny surface. And by reducing the reflections, it increases the color and contrast of the subject and also it improves the clarity of distant objects. Here is an example of the water. You will see how it will disappear almost all of the reflection of the tree in it. And the example of this car is just unbelievable and I am quite admired by the performance of this little lens. After that I tested out the ND2 to 400 filter. It can be used to control the exposure when clicking pictures. And here you can see an example already. So I tested it out in my lawn and here you can see that it is broad daylight and you will be surprised to see how it completely blacked out this picture. So this is how it works which is quite impressive. Here is another example. So what do you think about it? Make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Then I tested out this soft filter. So what it does is it reduces the sharpness of these subjects and gives a softer and smoother image. Here is an example of my grey parrot. You can see that the picture is a lot smoother. Here are some other examples. And here is a comparison of without filter mode. At the end, I tested out the star filter and this test was quite impressive. Here you can notice a lot of lines on the filter. What it will basically do is it will turn every light in the picture into a star just like this. And if you will move the filter to the right or left side, you will see that the lights will also change the position of the star. Here is an example on the ultra wide lens. And here is an example on the wide lens. It can also make your setup look quite cool as you can see in this video. So guys that is all from today's video so what do you think about it let me know about it in the comment section below. 
and I'm impressed by how it helps in minor improvements in capturing a lot more better pictures from your smartphone. So if you want to purchase it, the link is given in the description box below. My favorite one was the close up filter. So which one was yours? Let me know about it in the comment section below. And make sure to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button. And I will catch you in the next one. Until next time, this is iMatch. Peace out.